they would not allow you to um, converse. You were given a script and this is what you stuck to. And from time to time I would rebel and say this is, this is uh, uh, facile or whatever else. And they'd look at me and say, oh, what do you know? And then eventually they said, no, you can't do it. You're not a warm personality. The moment I, f I read my first news bulletin on DNTV2, I had a feeling that I could do this. And I knew somehow how it should be done. Does that sound pompous? No. You just knew. I was a much better newsreader than I was a continuity person. I was more comfortable. The stuff was in front of you. And all it required was a good pre-read. Somebody was always there to correct your pronunciation, or as today's would have it, pronunciation. And, <laughs> and God help you. You needed to constantly be aware that someone was listening and criticizing. We're supposed to give the cars back and at least as good, slightly more mild, you know, a few more miles on the clock, but um, the cars should go back in as good a condition as we received them. From time to time, we did actually have to patch them up, I have to say. I was disappointed in myself. There were certain times when I let myself down. I let the side down in a couple of, pro couple of programs that I presented because my nerves get in the road.